Welcome to another super awesome kettlebell workout called the Pacemaker Protocol. Hey guys, it's always fantastic to come back to this workout. I love it. This is a kettlebell protocol for those who want to become super fit. This protocol can turn any ordinary person with a kettlebell into a super tough, fit and strong human being that can withstand 10 times more challenging tasks in life than the majority of people who do not follow this protocol. This is guaranteed. The pacemaker increases cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, mental toughness, explosive power and overall strength. So this is high intensity. It's super tough. Usually people associate cardio not with strength. But if you follow the protocol, you are also building up your strength. If you are doing something fast and intense, but you're doing it with heavier weight than you're used to, you are obviously getting stronger, especially as you increase that weight over time. The warm up is... We've got a hip hinge into squat. We do that for one minute. Then alternating thoracic rotation and reach into arms overhead. We do that for one minute. Then we go to double arm hip hinge swings for one minute. We do two rounds. So that's a six minute warm up. Then the workout. You got two tasks. Task one, 30 seconds of single arm swing on one side. Then on the next 30 seconds, you perform that on the other side. So you switch, you don't stop, you keep going. Then you go to the other side on your next 30 seconds and you perform a full snatch for those full 30 seconds. On the next 30 seconds, you switch to that other arm and you do the full snatch on that side. Right now we're two minutes in. Then the next 30 seconds, you perform overhead reverse lunge on the other side. Then the last 30 seconds, you switch to the other side and you perform the overhead reverse lunge over there. That is one round. You do six rounds of that. So after that overhead reverse lunge, you switch to your other side and you go back to the beginning which is single arm swings 30 seconds single arm swing 30 seconds single arm swing 30 seconds full snatch 30 seconds full snatch 30 seconds overhead reverse lunge 30 seconds overhead reverse lunge repeat that pattern for six rounds six tough rounds then you go straight into task two which is two minutes of push-ups any variation as many as you can in those two minutes and that's the whole workout it's just a 20 minute workout anybody can get this in during the day we first designed the pacemaker in 2019 we have been including it in our arsenal ever since so the difference between a protocol and a program is the protocol is what you follow it's a set of rules that you follow to become stronger and fitter a program is what you do every week. So you might do this on Tuesday and that on Thursday, etc. And you do it so many times. That's your program. We will also have that available. The pacemaker protocol is number one, start with a light weight. Number two, start at a slow pace. Number three, start with low volume. Number four, complete the volume unbroken. Number five, increase the volume. Number six, complete the full workout unbroken. Number seven, increase the pace. Number eight, reach a continuous pace. Number nine, increase the weight. And number 10, repeat from step four. So you keep repeating that cycle from number four 
and keep going through it, increasing your weight, increasing your pace, increasing your volume, etc. Make sure to also download the book that comes with this. It explains everything. You also get a program with it. It explains the exercises. Everything is there that you need. With the protocol itself, you can build your own program, but we will include a program to get you started with. We have broken it down into levels so that you can track your progress easily and you can see how you're going. And set your next goal, which is super important to have goals. So you pick a level, you start at the lowest level and you say, I'm gonna make it to this level. Okay, let me explain. So we got levels, we got weight, and then how did you complete it? Did you complete it unbroken or continuous? Unbroken simply means that you did not put the weight down at all for the full six rounds. That's unbroken. And of course, you're meeting the other requirements which we'll get into later. Now, the next step up is continuous. So that basically means that you keep performing one exercise into the next exercise, whether that is the snatch or the overhead reverse lunge, without pausing. That's continuous. I'll also get into that deeper later on. For now, let's break down the levels. Level one, eight kilograms, 17.6 pounds, unbroken. Then the same weight for level 1.5 is continuous. Level two is 10 kilos, which is 22 pounds, unbroken. And then level 2.5, which is the same weight at a continuous pace. Level three, 12 kilos, 26.4 pounds, unbroken. Then level 3.5, same weight, is continuous. Level 4, 14 kilos, which is 30.8 pounds, unbroken. Then level 4.5, the same weight at a continuous pace. Level 5, 16 kilos, which is 35.2 pounds, unbroken. Level 5.5 is the same weight, but continuous. Level 6, which is 18 kilos, 39.6 pounds, unbroken. Level 6.5, same weight, continuous pace. Level 7, 20 kilos, 44 pounds, unbroken. Level 7.5, same weight, continuous. Level 8, 22 kilos, which is 48.4 pounds, unbroken. Level 8.5, same weight at a continuous pace. Level 9, 24 kilos, 52.8 pounds unbroken then we go to level 10 which is the ultimate level 24 kilos 52.8 pounds at a continuous pace now let's dig into the minimum requirements per set which are you need at least five snatches you need at least five overhead reverse lunges per set there are no rep requirements for the swing, as the swing needs to be done unbroken. You can't stop a swing. The kettlebell does need to reach chest height. We'll get into that on the technique part. And again, unbroken is achieved by not putting the weight down from start to finish. A continuous pace is unbroken and performed without any pauses during the snatch overhead or overhead reverse lunge. So for example, if I just do it unbroken with the snatch, I can keep it overhead for two seconds or three seconds before I do my other rep. With the overhead reverse lunge, I can do the same. I can pause a little bit at the bottom, even for one second or one and a half or close to two seconds, and then back up. I can wait before I do my next rep. Okay, so that's unbroken. But now continuous, is down, up, down, up. You keep going. There's only a fraction of a second at the top for your fixation in the snatch. Same thing with the overhead reverse lunge. Down, touch, back up, up, down, touch, back up. There's only a split second there for fixation, which means that you're really standing still, nothing's moving, so the kettlebell is not moving anymore. Once that happens, you go back down into your next rep. When recording or posting your scoring online, it should follow the following format. L for level, followed by the digits of the level that you're on. And P for push-ups, 
followed by digits representing the number of push-ups completed. So an example is L5P20. That means you completed level 5, which is unbroken. P20 is 20 push-ups. So for the push-ups, you have two minutes to complete that. And since it says push-ups, you can do any push-up. You can do triceps, hybrid, chest, those are the ones that you can choose between. All the other form and technique needs to be adhered to. So, not only are you going to get stronger and fitter, you are also going to lose weight. You're going to get lean muscle mass. You are going to get mentally tougher, especially mentally tougher. I guarantee it. Because you need to keep going. That works in your mental toughness, not to give up. This is where it starts because you will think to yourself and talk to yourself, why am I doing this? Let's give up and we'll do it next time. But that's where you're going to get better at talking to yourself and saying, no, let's just do one more rep, one more rep. And before you know it, you got the full six rounds pumped out. And then you do the next workout again and it's just going to get easier and easier. You are going to get stronger, fitter, mentally tougher. You are going to attack the day with a lot more happiness and confidence, without a doubt. You are gonna get leaner, you are gonna lose weight. All of this from one awesome workout, protocol and program that you follow. For you women out there, especially us older ladies, maybe over 40 or whatever, thinking, oh, this is too hard, you can do this. It will increase your mental toughness. You will really feel good after it, okay? So never think that you can't do it. Start at level one, and then you will work on that from there. It's all laid out in such a way that you can progress. Oh, hey. oh that was tough. I feel it. I feel the muscles everywhere. The muscular endurance kicked in, lactic acid. And it's awesome. This is very much a mental workout too. It's about finding your pace, but it's also about keeping going. Because at some stage I was like, wow, I'm ready to give up. And then I had to had this battle inside. And I'm like, it's only one more round. It's only one more round. But what if it's two more rounds? No, it's only one more round. You get this battle and you got to push that that bad guy away. You have to say, no, I'm going to do this. Even if it's two more, I'm going to do it. I'll deal with it. What do you think? Yeah, it's a really good workout, guys. Keeps the heart rate up. And um, even if you think you can't do it, go back to a lighter weight. I worked with a very light weight, kept going, and that was a good thing. Yes. But seriously, wow. It's just the main thing is to really push through. Like, this is something where a lot of people lack. They've got skills, they've got strength, and they've got fitness. But the mental endurance, that's a different, different ball game. It really is. So make sure that you pay attention to that and work on that. It's an aspect that you need to work on. It really is. And it makes you tougher in your day-to-day -day life as well. Ah, it's called the pacemaker because Afterwards, you feel like you need one, but pacemaker is without a space in between. This is with a space. So you got to work on your pace. You got to find that pace to complete the full six minutes. Anybody can do it. You just got to find the pace. So come and join us in the pacemaker protocol. See you there.